I was in sixth standard when I was diagnosed with the inability to do maths. Till 10th standard, I kept convincing myself that it wasn't me who was doing maths, rather it was maths who was doing me. <laughs> On days when I felt a little less guilty, I used to tell my friends that my father is a maths teacher. So it's just a fault in my genes to miserably fail at things that come easy to me. You see, Mads is like that lover of mine who never wrote me any love letters. He would often say that our love is like the homecoming of defeated probabilities. And he had this major word problem. The first time he told me about the concept of rational numbers, I kept myself as a denominator. This way, even if he stops loving me, our love would not be undefined. But he forgot to let me know that mine wasn't supposed to be an infinity either. He told me that my laughter made his heartbeat reach a wavelength that resembled a sine graph. Till he started reading sine as sin. And he preached a religion, and he preached a religion which baptizes the sinner by dipping them into insecurities. So the second time I flunked in the same maths exam, I knew exactly that why principal into rate into time by 100 is called simple interest, and that I was an investment which would have left him all broken. All these years, I've been trying to uncover that why does calculus even exist if the shooting star is a tangent to my perception of not being worthy of love? If the normal line slash the Cupid's arrow will not cross over the basis of his idea of worthiness. If our equation is the one which cannot be derived from differentiating the modern concepts of relationships. If our feelings are the variables which cannot be integrated to form something less complex. All this time, I've been trying to convince myself that maybe he and I were the best permutation God could think of when he first read about parallels. The last time he said that he loved me, I realized that if speed is directly proportional to distance, then I might have to cross an entire light year to believe that he actually does love me. But speed is also inversely proportional to time slash his notion of forever. You see, the reason behind the failure of my past relationships is that I'm very bad with tricky questions. And if Mats was a person in real life, it would be him, constantly reminding me that maybe I'm too much of a spring to ever be worth the fall. <laughs>